Hi, it's Miglena from thepowerdance.com. This is my fourth tutorial from the series 15 Spins into Climbing and today I'll show you a spin officially known as the Sword Spin. Initially I was hesitant whether I should put it on my list. I honestly haven't practiced it before because I thought that it's an old school spin. You know, one of those moves that doesn't look cool enough, now of practicing and it will never become my favorite move anyway. But I gave it a try and I learned a very essential technical lesson on how to time the pivoting moment to enter smoothly into the spin. I think it's a huge takeaway because it applies to a lot of pole dance spins and I recommend to also read my blog post on thepoledance.com and to use the spin in your own combos. This is what sword spin or leg hook spin looks like. Let's check the legs position first. Stand behind the spinning pole and slide one leg up the pole. Hook the leg when your knee is at hip height. Contact points are the inside of your tights and the calves. To try how this feels on spinning, come up on your toes and grab high with both hands. You can either spin backwards, leaning sideways in the direction of the hook knee, or you can spin forwards, leaning in the other direction. To keep the hips away from the pole during the spin, make sure that you're pulling away from the pole with both hands. Imagine someone pulling your leg down and back. Then keep on pivoting on your standing leg. As soon as it touches the pole, slide the inside leg up and lift the back leg off the floor. Now put everything together, starting with the inside foot close to the pole. To climb, simply swing the back leg in front and place the ankles on the pole. If you're a forearm climber just like me, you can slide one hand down into forearm grip before you start climbing. Now it's your turn. Share your own combo including the spin.